Over there's the red brick building that has the warehouse. To the drivers passing by, runs up to Kentucky. These two guys look like really enthusiastic tourists. There's the tower. That's pointing here. And it's still there. Pointing there. Yeah, right there's the barbershop right there on the corner. Taking pictures everywhere. Jennifer's Louisville. Really, they're movie dudes. I think it's the first floor is where the apartment was. And Cinephiles, if you will. And then he would have popped up on Whiskey Row. You know, the kind of guys that know their favorite films word for word. We quote movies all the time. And aren't afraid to recite those lines to whomever will listen. It's Czechoslovakia. It's like going into Wisconsin. What do you mean? We got our ass kicked in Wisconsin. <laughs> You kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> yes, I do. And he goes, oh, no, not killed, and swerves the cab all over the road. There's where the trash was in the board. The movie at the top of the box office in the hearts of Matt Lish and his nephew Samuel. Have you seen Stripes? This is the army. If you'd like to be part of it, call this number. Oh, sure, the war comedy starring Bill Murray as John Winger. What kind of a name is Winger? Winger who just got dumped by his girl, fired from his nine to five and enlisted in the army. Growing up in Louisville, I knew it was filmed here, even though in the movie it wasn't called Louisville, it was called River City. Hey, hey, a nice warm cab right here. Matt always thought it would be cool to revisit the spots made famous in film to show. It's what it used to look like then and what it looks like now. So he wrote down some locations and went downtown with his nephew. You catch him coming out. And the cab is parked right there. And his dad's iPad. Bill Murray stops at vertical beam number 28. To make this YouTube video. With all the different filming locations, it took about three days. Probably 10 hours of total film time. You must really love the movie. Yes. <laughs> the duo found the Second Street Bridge looks a bit different. The bridge has been painted a different color. Bill Murray just left the barber shop. The convention center really changed the landscape. Here he is looking at his cab, picking up the ticket. At the corner of 3rd and West Market. Note the orange fire hydrant. And we found the exact apartment where he threw the basketball out the window. He's like, hey man, can you give me a hand? The guy throws the basketball up and it busts out the other window. Spoiler alert, it's been fixed. <laughs> Loving stripes isn't the only reason they did all of this. I experienced a lot of the things that happened in the movie and my basic training and a lot more that were far from funny during 42 months in Iraq and 12 months in Afghanistan. A lot of what he's gone through is hard for people to understand. I was in a vehicle and we got blown up by IED. He and his fellow soldiers made it through the attack. Still, a toll taken. From 03 to 09 I did fine, then I started having real bad anxiety and PTSD. Some of it still affects him today. I just get really have a hard time and then nightmares. The laughs from the movie. So we'll go down and film that. Bring him out of the darkness and remind him life doesn't always have to be heavy. And if the star of the flick happens to see this, <laughs> well, these two would be all right with that. To maybe have Bill Murray watch it and leave a comment. Bill Murray was right in there. They've already sort of slid into his DMs. Not like that. To make it happen. I don't have an Instagram, so I had somebody else do it. <laughs> yeah, and he it, turns. And it sweeps up to the sweeps Second up. Bridge. On the set of Stripes, decades later, with photojournalist Dominic Furman, Rasuter. WDRB News.